plays an important role in here. Well, in here, we're not going to take a look at, of course, how we work with it in Unreal Engine. Unity works with its lighting. You would typically go and create how that light's going to work, everything from its intensity to its color and its placement within the scene. So let's jump over to Unreal Engine and take a look at that. In that, So you can see up here on our Modes panel, by default, it's in the Place or the Placement mode. We can go down to our Light setting, and you'll see that we have a very similar option, uh, set of options for lighting here, with the exception of an area light on there. But we can build, essentially, the way an area light will work uh, very simply out of customizing any of these lights here to be able to do what we want to do. But you can see we have a directional, a point, a spot, and we have a skylight in there. So those are the four default lights that uh, Unreal Engine will work with right from the start. So let's take a look at that exact same example here as to how that would work within Unreal Engine from Unity here. So we're in the placement. I've hit lights. I'm going to just left click and drag into the scene a directional light. And you can see that it's placed that light in there and it's actually very bright right now. If we don't see anything related to the actual selection of the light in the scene, you can simply hit G. And what G does as a hotkey is it brings up all of the different little gizmos within the scene so that we can see this light that we're working with here. So I have this light. It's showing me the direction here, which is this white arrow that we're working with. So just to show how that works, if I put, press E to rotate that around, you can see that E is simply going to rotate around and we can see the shadows and everything affecting that environment from that light. Now, into the detail panel, I'm just going to bring this up a little bit here. We can see that we have very familiar different settings in here. So in here, we have things like an intensity level. We can certainly bring that down if it's a little too intense. And of course, we have a light color. Now we can expand that and be able to dial in specifically the numeric values of the R, G, and B setting. Or we can simply click on the light color to bring up a color picker here to be able to dial in the specific type of color if we wanted to add a little bit of mood to that, um, uh, this atmosphere, this environment, and this project here. So I've got a bit of an orangey red light. I'll just hit OK. And I can go in and be able to work with how that light is going to work within the scene. Now we can see things like light source angle, uh, the temperature that we can turn on and work with if we wanted to. There's a whole bunch of different settings here specific to how that light is going to work. So there's a directional light. While we're here, why don't we take a quick look at how that might work with a different light, like a spotlight. If you are familiar with lighting, you'll know that a directional light isn't influenced or affected by translating like I'm doing here. It's only by rotation, of course, which is the direction of the light as it's projecting downward. So let's grab a simple point light. And if we drag that into the scene, you can see that a point light here in Unreal Engine is pretty much what you would expect it to be if you're familiar with the way a point light works in Unity. The icon is a little different. It's more of a light bulb. But you can see that we get the exact same effect or what we would expect here. The difference being that we see this sphere here that represents the overall radius or effect of that light. And of course, we have an intensity settings in here that I can adjust. Same thing, the color setting. The parameters are set in Unreal Engine to be exactly the same per light so that you're familiar with them regardless of what you're working with here. You will see a couple of different attributes or parameters set in here depending on what it is that we're trying to do here. So we can see that some of the naming may be different, but overall the idea of the way that it uh, we set the color, um, the intensity, and the overall fall off or affecting area of the radius of the lighting is very easy to be able to dial in in the parameters that exist in the details panel for the light in there as well. Lastly, let's take a quick look at the spotlight in here. And if you're familiar with the spotlight in Unity, you'll certainly be comfortable with the way that a spotlight works here in Unreal Engine. The difference may be, again, some of the naming within Unreal Engine here. I'm just going to turn the intensity up, maybe make the light color something like a, maybe a green. And we can see that we have, um, if you're familiar with the way a spotlight works with the inner cone, cone angle versus the outer cone, we have the ability to dial 
that in here as well to allow how sharp of a fall off or soft of a fall off that we have on that overall effect on that spotlight in there. So uh, very much a familiar setting if you're used to Unity's placement and dialing in of the attributes on lights. Here in Unreal Engine, we use our modes, lights, we place them in the scene, and underneath our details panel, we're able to grab all of the different attributes required to be able to set our lighting for our scene here in, in our Unreal project. 